I think Saudi Arabia and the UAE today have made preparations for the partition of Yemen after toppling the president of the internationally recognized government in favor of a presidential council composed of seven individuals that include some of the most powerful de facto warlords in the current war. The decision came as a surprise to most, even to many of the Yemenis attending the peace talks that are being held in Riyadh and who were even told at one point that the Houthis could be making their way to Riyadh and that therefore they should be inclined to remain in the Saudi capital for longer. For the UAE and Saudi Arabia, the setting up of the presidential council of seven members makes perfect sense. The military offensive against the Houthis or to defeat the Houthis who overthrew the internationally recognized government in 2014 has failed. The Houthis are entrenched in the capital Sana'a and in the port city of Hodeida. International opinion has long abandoned the idea of restoring the democratic transitions that the Houthis overthrew in 2014 as focus centers on the tragic humanitarian crisis and ending the war at all costs. Biden is intent on reaching a deal with the Houthis and an accord with Iran and is accordingly averse to forcing the Houthis out of the territories that they have seized by force. Based on the current dynamics therefore, the upcoming UN brokered negotiations is expected to focus on dividing the spoils of war between the strongest parties as opposed to restoring a democratic transition. And the US envoy Tim Lender King has already told Congress that Washington is not averse to the division of Yemen if that's what the parties want. In setting up the presidential council, the UAE and Saudi Arabia have successfully broken the symbolism of a united Yemen and chained the influence of the Islah, the Muslim Brotherhood, that they perceive to be as just as problematic as the Houthis. Moreover, the Houthi offensive on Ma'rib has failed, largely thanks to the UAE, meaning the Houthis will not have access to the necessary resources needed to preserve their autonomy even if they continue to control Sana'a and Hodeida. In other words, in setting up the presidential council, Saudi Arabia and the UAE believe that even if talks happen, Houthis will not get the autonomy that they want, the Muslim Brotherhood will no longer be the potent force that they once were, and Yemen will be divided into fiefdoms and favorable spheres of influence.